Hi everyone, it's Ann Skinner with Keller Williams Realty here in Summit County, coming to you from my living room now, which seems to kind of be the new normal. I thought I'd change up our monthly market stats video to more of a weekly format to keep you about keep you informed about what's going on in the real estate market since things are changing at such a rapid pace with this health crisis. I know I've been thinking about all of you and I really hope that you're staying safe. With the stay-at-home orders, it's definitely brought a change to our local real estate market, and I wanted to share a few of those numbers. As many of you know, the ski resorts were shut down in mid-March, and the hotels, Airbnbs, restaurants, and retail shops followed shortly after that. So we're going to start with some numbers from the last week of March and the first week of April, as that really will give us a few weeks to kind of see how some of those changes have impacted our real estate market. Each week, I'm going to kind of take a little bit of time to go over exactly what some of these numbers mean and why they're important to you. This week, I'm going to be highlighting the differences between the active and the pending listings. So this week in Summit County, we had 43 new listings hit the market. We actually had 23 listings fall out from under contract and then come back on the market. At the same time, we had 16 listings actually go under contract and 28 properties closed this week. The reason that the active listings and pending listings are important is because that really helps indicate what's going on with our inventory. When we have quite a few more properties entering the market than leaving the market, it starts to increase the inventory and number of properties that are available for sale. In fact, towards the end of the week, we had about 560 properties available for sale, which is quite a bit more than we've seen through most of the winter. A couple other numbers this week that I thought were kind of interesting. We had 17 price decreases and we had 44 properties actually withdraw or expire from the market. Since we're wrapping up March as well, I thought I'd share a couple monthly numbers. We had 90 listings sell in March. They were on the market for an average of 81 days and those listings sold for 98.2% of the list price. The average sales price was $662,500. And overall, we had about three and a half months of inventory on the market at any given time. So as I mentioned, I'll kind of explain what each of those numbers mean in the upcoming weeks. So stay tuned for more videos. Reach out to me anytime with any questions you might have about the market. I'm always here to help in any way I can. Contact me or find me online at C-O-M-T-N Realty.